Hi there, it's Driver YDIY here. Uh, just thought I'd do a video on WD-40. I uh, get a lot of comments on some of my uh, videos saying about how flammable WD-40 is and some of the people are quite scared to use it, especially when it came, comes to electrical components and stuff like that. So I thought I'd just do uh, go through a few things of this. Uh, obviously WD-40 is a water dispersant. Uh, when you see the can, it does say it's flammable but all aerosols pretty much are. If you look at most aerosols, they'll have some sort of uh, flammable uh, sign on it. That just means it's, it's a flam it is a flammable product because it's got a solvent in it. Uh, but it is a household product as well. Uh, I mean, some of the things it can be used on, uh, like it says, removes moisture from spark plugs, we know. Uh, some of his older generations with the cars that we used to have, used to, a lot of the cars would never start because of damp. So you'd end up spraying this stuff onto the HT leads, into the distrib distrib distributor cap, and various other things, spark plugs and all that. Uh, it's great for machinery, uh, cleans and lubricates products, engine parts, uh, lubricates and protects power tools. Uh, and this is probably the most important one, removes moisture from electrical systems. So, the issue I have, uh, well, the issue people have, is that if they've got a seized item, say a light bulb or something that won't come out, uh, and it's actually seized, you can actually use this to do, uh, to try and remove it. It'll go in, it'll disperse all the crud and all the water related stuff and uh, lubricate the system uh, and you can remove what the problem is or uh, you know get the get the part moving remove whatever you need to do this I would never put this on a live uh, on a live circuit or on a move on a on a car that's that's cranking at the same time I would never probably do that purely because it does say it has it is a flammable product but what I would do is spray it all over it uh, let it dry out let it do its work and then put the part back together and and you know switch it on do whatever turn the car on or whatever uh, I wouldn't have this with sparks flying all over the place while I'm spraying it it's, you know that's pretty much common sense so what I'm gonna do uh, told you a bit about it it's been around for a long long time I've used it for years I've never had an issue with it uh, I'm going to spray a few things. I'm going to see how volatile this stuff actually is to give some of you peace of mind. Right then, uh, I've got an old brake disc metal because you're going to be using it on metal most of the time. Uh, I want this to be a safe experiment as well. So I've got my WD-40. I'm going to spray it on. So there we go. Very quite a lot. I'm just going to set light to it. And as you can see there, it, it doesn't, it's not, there's nothing really happening there. It's probably setting fire to the rust before it's actually setting fire to the, uh, to the actual part. There's nothing, there's nothing there that, once it's out there, it's doing its job. And it, it, it doesn't, look, you can see, there's no, no naked flame there. It's very, very, very safe to use. There's no, I mean, it's not even hot to touch there's no there's nothing there look so even though there's not even any sort of or any sort of flare up or anything like that the, the flash point on this is very 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 low but it is because it's because it is classed because it is in an aerosol then it would be classed as uh, as flammable and that, you know that's the warning on it, but you know you it really, really is. As far as I'm concerned, it really, really is safe to use. Uh, I mean, there's nothing. You know, it's. I'm quite happy to use that uh, with electrical issue with electrical uh, components. So uh, perhaps try something else. So if I was using WD-40, say, to clean, to 
clean this plug, I'll just give it a bit of a spray like that. I'll dry it off. This is the thing I'm going to do. I would not put it in soaking wet. You wouldn't do anything like that. When I'm using, I'm using this obviously for safety. Uh, and I'll just put it in. And that's fine and it works all right. There's no, you know, there, there was nothing to suggest that there's an issue there. I mean, this, you know, if it, if it was that volatile, it'd probably blow the circuit out, but it really isn't. It's just a cleaning and lubricating product that, you know, it, it, it's fine. I mean, obviously, if you're unsure and you don't want to do it, then, you know, leave it to a professional and they may, may use something different. But as a household, is, you know, as a household product, Read the instructions first, know what you're doing, uh, and then go forward with it. Never work on a live circuit. I would never work on a live circuit. Uh, but as a household product and, you know, getting things working again, I think it's a, it's quite a good, quite a good uh, piece of kit. Definitely worth having in your toolbox. And if it was that dangerous, you know, you, you, <laughs> there'd be a lot of warnings out there saying not to use it. People all over the world use this stuff on the electrical issue, on products. So... Uh, I, you know, there's a couple of experiments here. Hopefully, this. I mean, this is a 246, 240, 240 volt uh, circuit as well. So if it was going to do anything, it's trip it straight out. So, uh, you know, hopefully this gives you a little bit of comfort when using it that it's not that volatile. It, we, it's not going to. Uh, it's not going to cause a problem if you lose using it on an electric circuit. Isolate it, dry it out. And then put it back together, and it should be fine. Uh, I hope, hopefully, this gives you a little bit of understanding what the product's about. Uh, look into it yourself. Have a good think about it. And obviously, when you're working on any, any on anything, always make sure you do your research first and uh, go into it that way. Hopefully, I'll get some positive feedback on that. Negative feedback, just tell me what you think, what your experiences are. Uh, you know, have you blown up a circuit or anything like? Have you electrocuted yourself with it? Have you, you know, burnt something? You burnt your house down with the stuff. You know, just let me know and see what what else is out there. Obviously, this is me using it, but other people might have had different experiences. Hopefully, uh, this gives you a bit of in, an insight. Uh, thanks. Well, thanks for watching. Give us a subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. Uh, and give them some comments. Thanks for watching.